Hi guys, how's it going? It's me, that boy. Wow, I haven't filmed a video in so long. I'm also a very sick boy as well. Um, I've been sick for the couple, oh my god, I've been sick for the past couple weeks. And um, yeah, sorry I couldn't film a video or anything. Because every time I would start talking, um, I would like start coughing and it was literally me coughing every 30 seconds so yeah sorry I don't know I think I caught a flu or something but currently I am like 70% better if even that I'm still coughing like oh my god it's coming <coughs> yeah I just thought I'd do a little get ready with me video um let you know what I've been up to other than dying I've been dying but I've been doing other stuff as well but yeah I'm just gonna like <laughs> go wash my face because I like <coughs> I woke up not too long ago and yeah okay uh, I'll BRB hi I'm back my face is really wet that's how you know I washed my face also I think my shirt's kind of wet as well oh my god I hate filming without my glasses because I never know if the camera is recording or not um, yeah, my friend actually told me that instead of wiping away the water on your face after you wash it, you should like pat it into your face for more moisture, apparently. But that just kind of, it just kind of dripped all over my bedroom. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna like do my skincare stuff first. I also grabbed some of these Ricolas, so I'm not like coughing the entire time. I'm just gonna pop one of these in before I start doing stuff. Yeah, these things are great. Well, they're okay. They help my coughing stop for like 10 minutes and then I'll just like cough like crazy again, but I don't know, anything to help. Oh, you guys know the brand? <coughs> um, not that brand. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got too excited. That's why I started coughing. Do you guys know the brand Drunk Elephant, the one that I like talked about before in my skincare video? Well, I got some of their like, um, skincare stuff from my work for free and look at it they're like little minis and then you can like try out like basically everything from their skincare line i got the little it was like a i don't know some like starter pack thing um you get everything in their skincare line except for their eye cream and like their lip balm but i mean this is pretty good so i think i'm gonna use this today so um what's the word flashback to two weeks ago um basically i went to this event it was like it was like a brown person party it was hosted by uh the punjabi society or punjabi association something like that from um the university the u of s like the university that's in my city and then yeah it was basically like this it was called Rewind, and then basically they had um, two Indian DJs. They were like two of the best like brown DJs in like Canada, and yeah, they were there, and it was like a pretty like lit party. Honestly, brown people <laughs> they know how to like turn up. That place was like so packed and so crazy. Fun fact: my dad is actually um, from India. I think I've like mentioned that before, unless. Unless you're new here and you didn't know that. But yeah, my dad's from India. He's Chinese though, that's why I don't look very Indian. <laughs> um, yeah, he's Chinese, but his like parents were like born in India or maybe they moved there. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it was like crazy. Um, <clears throat> oh my God, I should have like a little counter in the corner for how many times that I coughed in this video. I probably won't do that, but if you want to keep track and then let me know in the comments, um, feel free to. But I do have a suspicion that that's probably where, like, I first got sick because there was so many people and it was so hot there too. So then I think the combination of me being like really sweaty and like hot because there were so many people and all like the like people breathing on you and the bacteria and germs everywhere. Um, yeah, that's probably where I got sick. But after that, I like felt fine. But a couple days later, um, I start getting like a sore throat. And then usually my um, the first signs of me getting sick, my throat will kind of get scratchy and stuff. Um, and yeah, after that, I started like coughing every day. I got a fever. It wasn't so bad during the first week. Like it was mostly because my throat hurt, but I felt okay. 
at first, so I still like went to work and like coughed on everyone. But I still went to work, I still felt okay. And then afterwards, I like got way sicker. I probably should have taken time off from work um, just to like rest and not be outside like overworking myself. But yeah, no, I went to work and I got even sicker. Did I say fever? Maybe it was the flu. I honestly don't know what I have. I'm just like coughing so much. Um, my one friend actually told me that <coughs> if my cough lasts, oh my god, I'm dying. <coughs> yeah, she told me that if my cough lasts for more than two or three weeks, I probably have bronchitis. So there's that. I, I don't think I do because with bronchitis, your cough, um, usually you make a lot of phlegm, which I am doing. Um, <coughs> apparently there's like, there can be blood in there. You should have like a fever that goes along with it. And so far, like, I think I've gotten over, like, my fever, or, like, my, f like, whatever. Um, I'm just, like, coughing a bunch. I feel, like, mostly kind of healthy-ish, maybe? I'm, I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends. Sometimes when I go to work, um, I'll be there for, like, eight hours, and then I'll just get, like, sicker as the day goes on, so. I don't know what's happening to me. Oh, and because I've been sick for so long, my, like, skin was like so, it went like crazy and I got so many like, I got some of the biggest breakouts that I've ever had in my life. And it was like the cystic ones, like the ones you can't like pop or anything. They were just, they're there until they're gone basically. Like this one on the side of my face. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And then there was like one on my forehead. Um, it's gone, but it left like kind of like a scar there. Um, but yeah, ugh, it's so annoying. It was actually really funny though, I was working yesterday and me and my other friend, the one who said that if I was coughing for more than two weeks, I'd have, it was probably like bronchitis. Um, she's actually sick too, so she was like coughing a bunch at work yesterday, so then, um, yesterday we just like, um, were, sick, we secluded ourselves in a corner and just like coughed and were gross in like this little corner. And we were like, oh god. Whoever comes here is gonna get sick, so sorry. But yeah, what have you guys been up to? Anything new with you? I feel like I should do a live stream sometime. I'm always like, what? how are you guys doing? And then you literally like can't answer me as you're watching this. I mean, you can leave a comment, but it's like not the same, you know what I mean? Yeah, before I got really sick, I had so many video ideas that I wanted to do. Like, I had them all planned out and I was like ready to film them, but then, ugh, I got so sick and then I couldn't film. Um, but yeah, I had some new ideas for a couple hair videos, um, some lookbooks that I wanted to do. Oh, speaking of lookbook and speaking of anime, which we weren't speaking of at all, have you guys seen the new trailer for Death Note for like Netflix? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm dying because of it. I do hope that you can hear what I'm saying because I feel like the volumes that I'm talking in are either like normal or like super super quiet. But um, yeah, that trailer. What do you guys think? Honestly, it's not even a surprise at this point that like, I don't know, they didn't cast an Asian person as the main character or even have the majority of the characters be Asian. I think there's only one Japanese guy and one black guy or something, and they have like kind of minor roles. Wait, the black guy is L, I believe. Um, I'm just gonna have another one of these. I think it, I think they say that you shouldn't exceed 10, 10 of these per day. I feel like I've eaten more than that at some point. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll eat one later. But yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, obviously, um, the actual, like, show hasn't come out. Is it a show or a movie? I have- I, no, it's a show on Netflix. Um, yeah, the actual show hasn't come out, so it's kind of hard to, um, you know, form a fully- a full opinion on what it's gonna be like. Um, but judging by the trailer, it doesn't- it's kind of confusing, you know? A lot of people who are watching the Death Note trailer are like, you know, really big fans of it. Like the die-hard Death Note fans that have read the manga, that have seen like the anime. Um, and then I guess the other people that are watching it would be just people who are um, just kind of browsing on Netflix. 
and trying to find something to watch and then they're like, hmm, what's this? This seems interesting. I can kind of see where both sides are coming from though. Um, like obviously the fans of the old school like Death Note, they want an actual, they were probably expecting like a scene to scene like remake sort of thing. But the one that, the new one that's coming out, it is very not that. Wow, I should like write stuff down before I start talking about it. I'm so bad at like explaining things, but um, I have a feeling that the director, he kind of wanted to not, you know, do a full complete homage to the Death Note series. Um, he kind of wanted to, I have a feeling he wanted to kind of make it and kind of introduce it to like a newer audience since like obviously what he's doing now it's not like making the fans of Death Note like happy at all since everything's so different. The main character is like a white guy. I mean how how much more like surprise can you be? There's <laughs> everything is like so whitewashed. Especially like recently like I don't know Ghost in a Shell with Scarlett Johansson um, what was that other thing? The Great Wall with like Matt Damon as like, oh, the white savior guy who's coming to save China. Um, yeah, just like, uh, I don't know, it's like not even as like shocking anymore. It's just like, oh, whitewashing again, cool. Um, but yeah, even, even though they did cast a white guy, it doesn't even seem like he really, I don't know, like Light was not, I don't know, he doesn't seem to fit the character of Light. But like I said before, like the director isn't doing like a complete remake of the Death Note series. He wants to kind of make it a little bit more, mm, not modern I guess, but kind of cater it towards like people who are watching it for the first time. So I guess it makes sense that he's not exactly like Light, like the character Light. I don't know, I'm too sick to be like talking about this. Um, I will get back to you on uh, what my opinion is on this, or <clears throat> I have an opinion, but it's just kind of all over the place right now. Um, I think I'd, ugh, I really don't want to watch it because then if you watch something, you're supporting it. I mean, maybe I'll wait until it's free on the internet and then I'll watch it because, eh, I don't know. doesn't seem like something I'd want to support, but mm, we'll see. But let me know what your guys' opinions are in the comments down below. Um, yeah, me and my friend were actually talking about like this thing that happened and just how like Asian characters, sorry not Asian characters, Asian people, they're always, you know, they never get the chance for like the main character role or they're always like, there's no roles that are like created for them or given to them because um, there's so many obstacles that they have to overcome. Okay, I'm just gonna like eat another one of these because I'm kind of dying. Because mm. a lot of Asian people in North America, like a lot of their parents immigrated from, you know, other Asian countries and their values and their culture, it's so different from like the Western side of the world. So your parents are going to be like the first obstacle that you have to overcome because if you're, if you go up to them and you're like, I want to be an actor, they will smack you across the- No, they won't like smack you, but they'll be like, stop. And it is usually out of like them caring for you because being an actor is such a difficult job. You can work th the hardest you've ever worked in your life and you can end up with nothing. Um, it's so hard to get like a steady income and your parents like they usually know that so then they're kind of like oh probably don't do that maybe like get a job in something else where the income's a bit more stable where you have more security so in a way they are looking out for your best interest i guess but if you really want to do something it's very difficult to like you know overcome that barrier because when you're young your parents are kind of like they like give you money to do stuff and like fund your education so they're kind of like your bank account and if they're not if you're not gonna do what they say then they're they might not support you the second obstacle would probably be like your peers i'm guessing um so if you're raised in like a community with a bunch of asian people and you're doing something different it's kind of like hmm am i being judged probably but i mean it's like the same for everyone like people always judge you based on like what you do so eh, I don't know I guess you should just not care 
And then another thing is like Hollywood itself, like if there are no roles for you, how are you supposed to get a job, you know? Like there's not a lot of roles for Asian people unless it's like a show specifically with Asian people like Fresh Off the Boat or like, I don't know, if you're if you want a minor role usually, but there's like almost no main characters in traditional like Hollywood movies. The next time I make a get ready with me video and I want to talk about topics like these, I think I will write down what my thoughts are first before I start talking because I have I'm the type of person that kind of has to like prepare myself before I like after like rehearse in my mind for like a year before I like explain stuff to people because I'm really bad at just like thinking of stuff on the spot. It's like I don't know because my thoughts just kind of go all over the place so I don't even know if anything that I said like made sense but that's what I think currently. Oh my god woo I can see now yay. Um but yeah what else have I been doing? <laughs> Um, not much really. I've just been like working a lot. Oh my god, my throat. Um, this whole entire week I work like every single day. I don't even get a day off, so. Why do I do this to myself? I think I also have like a red patch on my face right there. My skin is insensitive, but it gets really irritated easily. Like even if I wash my face with like, um, a sensitive cleanser. It's not really like the products that I'm using. It's just that my face is just so like sensitive. Like I just said it's not sensitive. It's just so like prone to irritation. Like if I like poke my face or if I like scratch my neck for like two seconds, it'll just get like red. But yeah, what are you guys doing for the summer or like spring break or stuff like that? I kind of want to go uh, traveling a lot this year. I haven't been traveling in like two years, three years. God, sorry if I'm not talking again. This part always takes so much concentration. Mmm, I love the crunch. What else is there to talk about? Oh no, I've run out of topics. Um, hmm, what other things have I been doing with my life? Oh yeah, remember when I was talking about um, that lookbook? I was thinking. <coughs> <coughs> Huh. I have to stop getting so excited because that's when I cough my brains out. But um, yeah, I was thinking of doing a lookbook that was inspired by Death Note. After I saw the trailer for Death Note, it actually made me really want to watch um, the anime again. I didn't want to watch the... Okay, actually, here's the thing that I should say first. I've never actually read the entire series of Death Note or watched the anime. Like... I've read a couple books here and there, but it was so long ago that I kind of forgot what happened and I was so like, I don't know, I was like dumb when I was little or when I was like younger. So it was so like, it was such a smart anime or story that I couldn't, I don't know, it was kind of boring to me and I was like, there's too many words. But now, um... After I watched the trailer of the new series, of the new Death Note series, I wanted to watch the anime. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, after I watched the new Netflix uh, trailer for Death Note, I wanted to watch um, some of the anime, but I didn't want to watch the whole entire um, thing. So I just kind of YouTube some clips and yeah, it kind of inspired me to maybe make a lookbook that was inspired that is inspired by death note so if that's something you guys want to see give this video a thumbs up no that's dumb that doesn't even have anything to do with this video you can leave it in the comments <coughs> <coughs> or <coughs> do what you want oh my god my um camera's gonna run out of batteries too all the signs are pointing at to not make a video today oh my god i'm so sick um, I don't know if you guys watched it, but I did make a lookbook pretty recently. I think last month. It was just like, what did I call it? It was just like my latest lookbook, and I had a lot of fun making it, so I kind of wanted to do um, them a little bit more often. You know, since I don't have any other ideas. Like, I thought it'd be really cool to start doing lookbooks that were inspired by, like, animes or video games or, like, 
um, K-pop groups and like their concepts and stuff like that because that's stuff that I'm always like looking at so there's a lot of inspiration there and I think you guys like anime and stuff like that too from what I have gathered I hope so unless I like misread the signs um, I did have another idea for a hair video as well so I will be making another hair video soon don't worry it's a common it's a me Mari. it's a common yeah actually the entire time I've been sick um, all I've been doing is just watching like vine compilations on YouTube like um, I don't know if you've seen those videos but they'll pop up sometimes on like suggested and it's like RIP vine or like iconic vines all right rip rest in peace and yeah i've been i've watched like hundreds of those and vine was amazing like i'm so sad that we will never have something like that ever again or maybe we will who knows foreshadowing you know what also family guy like i watched uh, like one of their clips popped up on my um suggested tab or whatever and i watched one of the clips and then now, every single day, it will recommend me like 10 more and I'll watch them because there's like 4 minutes each and Family Guy is actually kind of funny, I don't know. I thought it was like stupid and dumb before but <laughs> the humor is kind of smart. Oh, actually no! My one coworker, she was, I was like doing something and then she was like, if you don't do it, I'll kill ya! And she was um, referencing that one clip on Family Guy where like Jason, the <coughs> the serial killer, he owned some kind of store and then um, Lois, she was like, oh, since I'm the mayor, can I get like a little discount on this coat? And she was like, oh, sorry, we can't do discounts. If I gave you a discount, my boss would kill me. And then like Jason walks out and he's like, how's it going out here? And she's like, good. And he was like, great, because if it's not, I'll kill ya. <laughs> I don't know if it's funny when I say it out loud, but it's funny in my head. Oh, here's a neat trick that I started doing recently. I got this mascara from work for free, and I've seen people use um, brow gels on their eyebrows to kind of hold them in place and kind of make um, their eyebrows look a little bit fuller. And I wanted to buy one, but I was like, they cost money, and I don't want to spend my money. So I actually, <coughs> oh my god. Um, I think I just coughed on this. So then I was just kind of looking around and I found this and I was like, will this kind of give me the same effect? Cause it's literally just like making the hairs a little bit thicker and kind of holding them in place. So then I put some in and it looks pretty good. Um, this is the Tarte Lifted Mascara. It's supposed to be like waterproof. There is like, I forget, like maracuja oil in it. So it is supposed to like condition and like help your um, like hairs grow. So, oh, and the reason why I use this is because the color is actually more of like a universal black brown and not just like straight up black. That's why I thought it'd kind of look a bit more natural if I just put it in my um, eyebrow hairs because I don't want like, you know, those eyebrows that are like... I hope that gives you a visual representation. Oh my god, I'm having a stroke and having and dying. I hope that gave you a visual representation of what I meant but yeah all I've been doing is just like um just like putting it in the mascara once and then just kind of brushing it through the hairs and what's nice about this stuff is that it doesn't really like clump together like crazy so then it looks a little more natural and the thing with my eyebrow hairs is that I have enough hairs to um <clears throat> to make a, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to make like a shape with my eyebrows, but they are pretty sparse. So they do kind of make the hairs stick together a little bit, but it's not like clumpy, if you know what I mean. So then it really does help with like making me look like I have more hairs and it's not like I just drew like an eyebrow on my face. Yeah, there. I don't know if you can kind of see, but um, I like putting it like right there at the beginning because it kind of makes like lifts it a little bit so it looks more like individual hairs. This might look really bad up close, but anyways. But yeah, I'm done getting ready. Oh, Jesus. 
Um, just gonna. Ha! Oh my god. Ho! Oh, oh my god! I'm just gonna wear a different shirt because I'm like sweating and dying. And the shirt has a lot of death on it. Alright, I'm back. This is my OOTD. Sorry if you saw my feet. Don't look at my feet. I actually saw um, an idol wearing this outfit where it was kind of like these light wash, like this light wash denim with a white sweater like this. Um, <coughs> who was it? I think it was Unwoo, Unwoo from Astro. And yeah, I, I got inspired from that. See, this is why I want to make like lookbooks with like K-pop or anime inspired <coughs> themes. Oh my god, I'm like dying. It's so hot in here. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. Like, I don't make these too often. I think I've only made two other ones, and I honestly really do like making these videos because they're so just like chill, and I get to like talk with you guys. But yeah, um, leave a comment in the comments. Um, you can talk about like what you think about the Death Note series, or like what you think about whitewashing in Hollywood, or if you want me to make um, those lookbooks that I talked about. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. <coughs> or if you want to send me a prayer and hope that I won't die. I hope that you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!